Now lately, LumaFusion received an update, allowing all users of an iPad with USB-C connection to edit directly from an external drive. The most commonly used external drive is the Samsung T5 and T7. They are both affordable and fast. For editing with an external drive using LumaFusion, it's important to understand and know that most external drives having a read and write speed above 550 megabits per second won't necessarily be the best choice. The higher the speed, the more expensive it's also going to be. So if you're looking to get a more portable and smaller external drive, I can highly recommend the T5 over the T7. I have a full in-depth video explaining and testing the Samsung T5 versus the T7 and you can find that in the video description below. Now if you're a frequent viewer here on this channel, you might go under the category of a mobile filmmaker, mobile creator or mobile videographer. But we usually have one place where we do our final edits and sort of put everything together for the final export and the release of our video, like a studio or a secret place in a corner. And most of these smaller external drives doesn't support up to more than four terabytes of storage. They are smaller, uh, but they can also be extremely expensive if you go all the way up to four terabytes and even more. Having a smaller external drive is always useful, but when it comes to storage, let's say you finished a shoot for a client, a friend or yourself, maybe your own little travel video. The video you captured is something for the books and you just can't think of the idea of deleting the files. Maybe you want to create a different video with a different perspective at a later day or maybe a remake or you just want to save them. Saving everything that you film and store on the same drive will definitely fill it up fast. Even having a 2TB iPad might not be enough space. Or let's say you have an iPad with the smallest storage capacity, then an external drive is a must to keep the iPad running smoothly. For the past year, I've been using a stationary 20 terabyte external drive from Western Digital. This dual drive contains two hard drives. It's definitely not the fastest, but it does everything I'm asking for a studio drive setup to do. Even though the T5 is faster, the 20 terabyte hard drive is not far behind. And having the option to connect both your external SSD and a bigger stationary external drive or a NAS to your iPad, then moving the files from one another is a big step up for mobile filmmakers. The multi-hub port I'm using to connect my drives to the iPad is the Satechi 4K multi-hub version 2. I'm also using an older version of this, the Satechi 4K version 1, both of which I find to be working the best with the iPad and external drives. There's probably other newer hubs out there which is working as good as this. Even though the hubs I'm using are old, they still work 100% on all the ports so I haven't really felt the need to replace them. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the MyBook Duo 20TB external drive from Western Digital. And like I mentioned earlier, this contains two hard drives of 10 gigabytes each. These are also replaceable, so whenever you fill them up, you can take them out, label them, and put them in a safe place. And later, if you need certain clips or you just want to take a look at some older clips, you can pick up the replaced drive, take out one of the others, and put the old drive back. And once the drive boots up, you can locate all your media from earlier, which you stored on that drive. This also means saving a lot of money. For the price of a 4 terabyte external SSD, you can get around two or three external drives of 10 GB each if you go with the normal hard drive over an SSD. The MyBook Duo supports up to 36 terabytes of storage and there's different options to go with. It's optimized with the Western Digital Red Drives which is also included in any of the purchase depending on the size you go for. And if you're curious about which drive to get once you fill one of them up, you can simply take it out, take a look at the information and then do a quick search and once your new drive arrives, you can simply just plug it in and you're good to go. The price also varies depending on the size you select. On the release of this video, Video, the 4TB single drive is at 51% sale, which drops it down to only $89 down from $180. You can also save $50 on the 20TB version that I have, which is currently now at $749. The price might seem high, but you're getting 20TB of storage and the option to buy cheaper and bigger drives in the future with the easy access to replace them. All the links to the recommended drives is also down in the description description below if you want to check them out. The MyBook Duo is compatible with USB 
it comes with one USB-C port and two USB-A hub ports. And the awesome thing about this is that the MyBook Duo can also be used as a docking station with the two USB-3 ports. So here you can connect other external drives directly to the MyBook Duo, you can charge your phone, connect your keyboard and mouse, and use other different types of accessories whether you need to charge something or connect something, which I find to be really, really helpful. There's also a USB-C to USB-C and a USB-A to USB-C cable included, so if you're in need of slightly faster speed, you can also connect the external drive directly into your iPad's USB-C port. The transfer speed with the USB-C connection directly into the iPad provides up to 360 megabits per second, which is not far away from the T5. Connecting the external drive via the multi-hub will of course decrease this a tiny bit and the speed will go down from 360 megabits per second down to 290 megabits per second, which is half of the speed you'll get from the T5 and three and a half times less than the T7. But if you want a clear comparison of speed, make sure to check out the comparison between the T5 and the T7, link in the description below. And also make sure to click that subscribe and like button down below, notifications on and that would really be appreciated and it helps me continue making these videos and you can stay up to date with all the new videos being released. Now with that said there's one more thing to do. Now this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't do a comparison between the Samsung SSD and the MyBook Duo external drive. So I've decided to take the Samsung T5 reason it's an overall better SSD than the T7 so make sure to check out that video in the description to find out why. Now we're gonna do a simple comparison here. We're gonna import some footage, we're gonna export some footage, and we're gonna take a look at boot time, and we're gonna take a look at the timeline workflow. How is it to edit directly off an external drive compared to editing off an external SSD? Now after connecting the MyBook Duo to the iPad, it took about 32 seconds for it to fully boot. Now this is about 31 seconds slower than the Samsung T5 and T7, but this is what you can expect from using a normal hard drive over an SSD. But nevertheless, the scrubbing experience and the playback experience using two monitors, the iPad screen itself and a 4K monitor, which is putting more stress on the CPU and the GPU of the iPad, the experience is seamless. It's incredibly smooth and there's no issues or hiccups whatsoever. But this is of course something that I would expect from the M1 iPad Pro. Uh, so scrubbing and playback and just playing around and importing stuff and everything is extremely smooth and there's no issues. Now let's move over to LumaFusion and import a video file over to the timeline here. Now we're going to use footage from the DJI FPV drone. So this is going to be 4K60 and importing this over to LumaFusion is as smooth and as fast as doing it from a normal SSD like the Samsung T5 or T7. So no issues and uh, no delays compared to the other uh, two SSD drives. So this is as fast as the Samsung T5 and T7. And the playback inside of LumaFusion and keep in mind that we're using two monitors here, there is no issues. There is more stress on the iPad CPU and GPU because we have the monitor connected here and the playback is silky smooth. This is also the best settings and uh, just to spice it up a little bit we're gonna add some color grading here, some basic color correction and then we're gonna add a cinematic uh, LUT here as well to make the footage look a little bit more appealing. And the workflow is still silky smooth. No issues with the color correction, no issues with applying LUTs and no issues with doing the second playback on the timeline with with the color grading and LUT applied. Now, if we do that typical before and after LUT application here, uh, which we have two different clips of the same type here, and then we go over to cropping and we just make some keyframes here, meaning we now have two clips of 4K running from this external hard drive and the playback is extremely smooth and we still have the monitor connected and there's no 
issues on the playback. Now, if we increase the screen on the iPad a tiny bit, we can see there is a tiny freeze here, uh, but this is something that you might expect to, uh, to find and to see and to experience using an SSD disk as well. So I wouldn't consider this as something you know, which you will only find with the with a, a normal hard drive because you might experience this with SSD disks as well. So, you know, that's that's not going to be something to uh, to worry about, and it's not something that I think about either because you know, overall the experience is as good as an SSD disk. Now, how about export time? Uh, is it faster or is it slower exporting a one minute double 4K clip over to the external drive uh, or is it faster exporting it over to an external SSD? Now, exporting directly to the external hard drive, the MyBook Duo took about one minute and 26 seconds, which is uh, fairly fast. It's uh, doable, it's workable and there's uh, no issues with that time at all. If we go over to uh, importing, how long does it take to import something from an SSD to the external drive? Because that's one of the reasons that you might want to get a bigger drive because you want to store all your clips. So it took about 21 seconds to transfer a 500 megabyte file, which is pretty good. So if we now connect the Samsung T5, which we already transferred the uh, video file to, the exact same one we used with the MyBook Duo, let's move over to LumaFusion here and import and use the same two clips here. And we can see that there's no issues when it comes to playing back two of the same clips here. So these are the exact same clips that we did with the MyBook Duo. Now, when it comes to exporting with the Samsung T5, so we're gonna export directly over to the Samsung T5, just like we did with the MyBook Duo. This took about one minute and 27 seconds. So that was one second slower than the MyBook Duo. Now, connecting the directly to the iPad and doing the same export, we can see it's now taking two seconds slower. So one minute and 29 seconds to export the exact same clip and the exact same length, which is a little bit strange, but clearly they have somewhat the same speed. So it takes around one and a half minute to export a one minute clip of two layers of 4K 60 FPS footage. So I've been using this particular setup here with the Samsung T5, 500 gigabytes and the MyBook Duo 20 terabytes for the past year. And this Samsung T5 is extremely old. I think I got this probably around when they first launched it. And uh, the reason why this is still, you know, still in usage still, the reason I'm still using this every day uh, is because it never fills up. Uh, if you've seen uh, some of my older tutorials in LumaFusion as well, when we access the Samsung T5, you've probably seen that, you know, there is a bunch of presets on it and there's uh, transitions, effects, lower thirds and everything. And that's basically what I use the Samsung T5 for. So all the footage which I store on this whenever I need to transfer uh, from whenever, you know, just transfer footage from this, or to this, then I just, you take it over to the external hard drive here instead. So this one can fill up because it's 20 terabyte. And this one always, you know, trying to maintain this to be the uh, uh, presets, effects, lower thirds, uh, SSD, which I can easily just plug into uh, the iPad and drag things over to Luma Fusion. And I keep all the footage on this because like I said in the, in the, the video as well, you can just uh, open the lid and take these out. So whenever you need to replace one of these, you just take it out and just, you know, un just unclip these uh, holders here and you plug the new one uh, back in and just pop the lid and you are good to go and you will have a fresh drive to work with. So if this is something that I can recommend, Definitely, uh, it's the four terabyte is on sale, 89 bucks. And with that four terabyte, you also get the red drives and the uh, normal hard drives here. So you can just replace that once the four terabyte fills up, you can replace that with a 10 terabyte drive if you want to do that. So definitely something I can recommend because I've been using this almost every single day for the past year. 
And uh, this is not sponsored, just full disclaimer, this is not sponsored by uh, Western Digital at all. Uh, this is just my opinion about this because, you know, if, since I've been using this for the past year, I can or I might as well recommend it if you are looking for a cheaper version of an SSD disk or an external drive and you need to, you know, move your files to, to clear some space on whether you have an SSD disk or if you just want to, you know, move your files from your iPad over to something else, then that might be the choice for you. That's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that you found it helpful and that you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if this is the first time that you are here, welcome. Really nice to see you and would really appreciate that. Like and subscribe as well. So with that said, that's the end of today's video and I will see you in the next one.